Humanoid robots are starting to enter Vietnam's industrial workforce. The Bamboo Nation is aggressively modernizing its manufacturing base as it positions itself as a more affordable and more flexible alternative to China. It's become a top China plus one destination, meaning global companies are keeping operations in the People's Republic, but also expanding into Vietnam to reduce costs, avoid risks, and strengthen their supply chains. Vietnam has already invested heavily in automation and smart factories, deploying industrial robots across key sectors like electronics, textiles, and automotive manufacturing. The government incentivizes AI and robotics adoption with tax breaks and subsidies. The data of Vietnam is a national and it's natural resource. When it comes to humanoids, Vietnam is taking a much more cautious approach than China, which is determined to mass produce fake humans throughout 2025 and lead the industry by 2027. The newly established VinMotion is leading the way. The subsidiary of VinGroup, the country's largest private conglomerate, just introduced its first bipedal humanoid robot. Named Motion One, the robot is designed to fit into existing workflows, starting with light-duty industrial tasks like material transport, visual inspection, and basic assembly support on factory floors. On LinkedIn, Quan Nguyen, VinMotion's chairman and chief scientific officer, said the project is backed by $39 million in initial funding. He said the team developed the first prototype in just three months. It's Vietnam's first major effort in humanoid robotics since the Topio series, which started in the late 2000s. Unlike Motion One, however, Topio was primarily created for entertainment and research. The robots became known for their table tennis abilities, though they never reached pro status. VinMotion, which launched in January 2025, has already built and tested five prototype versions of Motion One. The company says it's building an entire ecosystem for deploying the robots, which the firm calls a humanoid of things infrastructure. The goal is mass deployment with minimal setup. According to VinMotion, the humanoid has semi-autonomous controls with a human in the loop system. The robot uses adaptive learning so it improves over time based on human feedback and task repetition. The humanoids are starting with transporting parts and doing repetitive tasks at VinFast, which VinGroup launched in 2017 as Vietnam's first global car brand. The automaker started with gas cars and later pivoted fully to electric vehicles. VinFast manufacturing operations are already highly automated. Its first factory was built in just 21 months with 90% automation. VinMotion is developing a next-generation humanoid called SuperMotion for more heavy-duty industrial applications. In France, one of Europe's largest automotive manufacturers is taking a similar approach to integrating humanoid robots into its operations. Renault Group recently invested in Paris-based startup Wondercraft to bring a new class of humanoids into its factories. Founded in 2012, Wondercraft is mostly known for its self-balancing, autonomous walking exoskeletons. Their AI-powered technology played a significant role in the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics torch relay. Paraplegic athlete Kevin Peet carried the Olympic torch while walking hands-free using Wondercraft's personal exoskeleton prototype. Renault was the lead investor in Wondercraft Series D fundraising round. Its exact contribution was not disclosed, but the campaign netted $75 million with other backers including BPI France and the European Investment Bank. Renault and Wondercraft developed the headless humanoid robot named Calvin 40 in just 40 days. Calvin shares foundational tech that's used in Wondercraft's exoskeletons like real-time dynamic balancing algorithms, motorized joints, and gait planning. Intended to take on dangerous factory jobs, the voice-controlled robot can be outfitted with dexterous robotic hands, grippers, or suction cups for different applications. A Calvin prototype performed more than a million steps during durability testing. 
Wondercraft says the humanoid's medical-grade software ensures reliability and operator safety. As others have pointed out, Calvin's camera system is located in its groin area. The robot's LED strips communicate status to nearby operators. Renault says it will soon roll out the humanoid robots on its factory floors to support its workforce. The manufacturer will apply its design to cost production techniques to mass-produce Calvin and Wondercraft exoskeletons. Wondercraft aims for Calvin to evolve into a full humanoid family for use across sectors. On a more depressing note, another French robotics firm recently shut down after two decades. The one-time leader in humanoids developed two of the most iconic robots of all time. For more on that, check the related video.